Shalom. All praises, glory, and honor go into the Most High Power, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Double honors onto the apostles and the elders, the great millstone that do rule exceptionally well. Citations, peace, mercy, and blessings onto you, sincere brothers that's out there, uh, the faithful brothers that's pushing this word with truth. My name is Tabwa Ahmath of Great Millstone Northwest. All right, and I really just want to start this lesson reading this scripture. So lock it for that. Reading this scripture. It says, uh, this is First Thessalonians chapter 5. I'm going to start at verse 1. It says, but of the times and the seasons, brethren, I have no need to, that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. Okay. Uh, I'm actually going to read on verse 3. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. All right. So, um, hey, that's pretty plain and, and cut forward that there's there's no re reason to make uh, big, long, lengthy videos to tell of the times and the seasons because, I mean, it's pretty obvious what time and what season we are in based upon the events that's that's going on in the world and that's why paul even wrote that we know ourselves that uh the day of the lord is going to come as a thief in the night all right uh yahweh shai and the heavenly host they they are already geared up and ready man they're already ready to uh uh, uh to to bring uh, a lot of torment to uh the planet earth all right and they are only being held uh, because they haven't got the green light from Yahweh Sh or Slakia from the Most High Power Yahweh. I was about to say Yahweh Shai, but I meant to say uh, the Most High Power Yahweh. All right, because they are two separate entities. Um, one of the brothers there in a live show a couple weeks back, uh, he he gave an analogy and it, it stuck in my head. Um, he said that Yahweh Shai and the Heavenly Host is pretty much like. Um, like how those dogs were on I Am Legend, where uh, they they wanted to go after Will Smith, um, you know the the uh, the monster dogs, the the zombie dogs, whatever you want to call them, they wanted to go after Will Smith, but they couldn't go into the sunlight, so they literally had to sit there and wait until the shadow gap uh, uh, was complete, you know. But they was right there and they was ready, you know. They they was they was man, they was they was shaking. They wanted to uh, uh, go after Will Smith so bad. And that's exactly how Yahweh Shai and the, the heavenly host is, man. You know, that's a beautiful analogy because they, they are, they're geared up and ready. They're amped. They are hyped, you know, ready to, you think Yahweh Shai doesn't want his revenge, man? All right. It tells you that uh, he's, he even remembers uh, those that pierced him with the spear, those Roman guards. So, yeah, man, Yahweh Shai is ready to bring hell on this place, man. Uh, first and foremost, he wants to bring hell on Esau. All right, but uh, there's a good number of heathens that's going to catch his wrath. And then also the two thirds of Israel, the ones that rejected him, they're going to catch his wrath as well, man. All right. And and, and he's he's amped. He's hype, you know, ready to come and, and put that sword to use. All right. And he's going to do that soon. Now, verse three said that when they say it shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction is going to come upon them. And that's exactly how it's going to happen because you see you see the state of the world, man. You see that these people these people have their minds so far away from the most high because they believe that they are uh uh safe, you know? They believe that there is peace, but soon enough, man, uh uh this shit's going to get flipped upside down uh permanently to where this shit is going to go really really uh really bad, man, you know? really bad man Esau got a lot of things in the works you know all right now uh, it says here in verse 4 it says but ye brethren are not in darkness that ye should be overtaken or Salakia that that day shall overtake you as a thief all right and brothers brothers are not in darkness because we have the light we have this truth we know what to look for and brothers have been doing a really good job uh, looking looking to uh, uh, pretty much the prophecies that has been said that was going to happen before uh, Yahweh Shai came back. And uh, a good portion of the reason that brothers have that, actually the main portion of the reason that brothers have that, number one is because of uh, uh, the Most High opening their eyes. Number two, because the Most High has given us uh, uh, the beautiful gift of having righteous leaders. All right? 
It says um, in verse 5, it says, Ye are all children of the light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor the darkness. And the night and the darkness is all the wickedness that's going on in the earth right now, man. All the, all the, all the wicked shit, man. Uh, they got these homosexuals on, on a completely different level to where they're changing their, their gender, all right? They got uh, women's heads so far up their own asses that that everything that comes out of their mouth is pure shit and all their attitude is pure shit, all right? They, 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 there's a lot of confusion that's upon the earth, all right? But because we are not of darkness... All right, because we're not of of the night, we shouldn't be overtooken by that the, the same crappy bullshit Salakia for these messages that keep popping up. We shouldn't be caught into the same uh, bullshit that is is going on in the world. As a matter of fact, Salak, bear with me one moment while I cut that shit. The uh, the messages that keep coming up. All right, there we go. All right, it says um. It says that we're not in darkness, that that day should overtake us. So the day shouldn't come as a thief unto us. We should be uh, ready and prepared, all right? Knowing that Yahweh Shai and the heavenly host, uh, all the angels that are going to be coming with him, knowing that they are geared up and that they're ready, you know? They got their battle suits on, man. They got their armor on, man, you know? So we likewise have to have our spiritual armor on. We likewise have to be ready just as much as they're ready to come back. We have to be ready for uh, Yahweh Shai to come back, man. All right. You got to keep that in your in your head. A good way I like to personally think of it is I like to think as it uh, think of it or look at it as if Yahweh Shai was was literally right outside the ozone, literally right there. You know, uh, him and the heavenly host, like they're literally already like you know they already surrounded the earth and closed in they're just waiting for the most high to tell them you know strike all right they're just waiting for that grand command and and that's a way i like to look at it just you know to help me stay focused on um on the fact that yahweh shai is coming back all right on the fact that yahweh shai is coming back and he's he's pissed off man and i don't want to be on on his uh on his bad side you know I want him to, to look at me and, 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 and you know, uh, swoop me into the ranks. I don't want him to uh, look at me as a, another person whose head needs to uh, 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 leave his body, you know, to be decapitated, so to speak. All right. Uh, reading on to verse 6, it says, Therefore, let us uh, not sleep as others do, but let us watch and be sober. And, and you know, uh, the water to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, that, that brothers are able to uh, receive this knowledge to... Uh, uh, be able to, to gain the wisdom to know that uh, now is not the time for us to be in that slumber or in the in the dark you know now is the time for us to be in the light um, I want to read another scripture that I had pulled this is Luke chapter 17 um, I'm going to start at where's a good starting point here uh, hopefully you brothers can, can see this fine uh, you brothers that's watching this it says uh, Luke chapter 17 uh, I'll start at verse 20. That's where the paragraph marker is to show that that's where it all begins. So I'll just start there. Uh, Luke chapter 17 verse 20 it says, And when he was demanded of the Pharisees when the kingdom of the Most High should come, he answered them and said, The kingdom of the Most High cometh not with observation, neither, uh, neither shall they say, Lo here or lo there. For behold, the kingdom of the Most High is within you. And this is Yahweh Shai speaking, all right? I don't have the red letter turned on at the moment, but this is Yahweh Shai that's speaking. All right, verse 22. He said unto his disciples, The days will come when ye shall desire to see the days of the Lord, or it's like the days of the Son of Man, uh, and shall not see it. And that shall say to you, See here or see there. Go not after them, nor follow them. And right now, we desire to see the day, uh, the day of the Son of uh, Man. We we desire for Yahweh Shai to be here, man. We desire for Yahweh Shai to, to come back uh, 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 swiftly, so that way we can get out of this hell, out of this torment that we are currently in. All right. Um, verse twenty three. It says, uh, "And they shall say to you, See here, or uh, see there." Go not after them, nor follow them. And a lot of that is the false doctrines that's out there, man. All right? Uh, uh, you know, the religions that's out there. And then you even got uh, the false prophets 
uh, I'm not talking about the false Israelite prophets. I'm talking about those guys that say that the world was going to end in 2012 or the world's going to end on this date or that date. You know, you shouldn't be so easily um, uh, wooed by that shit. You know, you shouldn't be swooped uh, into believing any crazy ass doctrine because as it, uh, as we read in uh, First Thessalonians, the fifth chapter, we are children of the light. We are not children of the dark. So the dark shouldn't have any effect on us. Okay. Uh, falling for fake ass doctrines, man. You know, uh, verse 24 says, um, for as the lightning that lighten out of the one part under heaven shineth unto the other part under heaven, so shall also the son of man be in his day. You know, and that's that goes back to where uh, it's written that every eye shall see uh, Yahweh Shai when he comes back. Because we know that he's coming back with the heavenly host. He's coming back in the chariots of the Most High. All right. Uh, uh, they're going to fill the sky, man. You know, it says uh, uh, there's going to be so many chariots in the sky that the sun's going to be darkened. All right. So uh, uh, keep that in mind that, you know, you shouldn't you, you shouldn't be able to uh, be easily persuaded on any crazy thing because uh Yahweh Shai has already set forth everything that we should be looking for okay um uh verse 25 it says um but first must he suffer many things and be rejected of this generation and that generation is here upon the earth today that generation that rejected Yahweh Shai they're the same people that's out there that's still constantly even to this day rejecting Yahweh Shai all right and that includes some of the people that call themselves Israelites. You know, if you're not with the 100% truth of Great Millstone, then then you're still rejecting Yahweh Shai, whether you're rejecting his name or rejecting a part of the true doctrine. Okay, uh, verse 26 reads, uh, and as it was in the days of Noah, which that's Noah, all right. Uh, so shall it also, so like it show shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man, all right. Uh, they did eat, they drank, they married wives, they were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. And, you know, we got that same vibration that's going on on the planet Earth uh, at this very moment where people are eating and drinking and giving into marriage, you know, pretty much uh, uh, filling themselves with, with all the vain um, pleasures of life and not uh, going after the Lord, not even even giving uh, reverence to the Lord or thinking about the Lord, okay? And that's that's how it is. It says until the flood came and destroyed them all. That's why it's written that it's going to be as a thief in the night because there's not anybody watching, you know. There's nobody that's alert, other than the, the true men of the Lord. Uh, that is, uh, likewise, verse twenty-eight. Likewise, as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank. They bought, they sold, they planted, they uh, builded, all right? But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all, all right? And the same day that Yahweh Shai comes back is the day it's going to be uh, raining uh, fire and brimstone. The same day that the elect leaves out of uh, Babylon and other various countries that has been prescribed to be um, uh, destroyed by nuclear fire and by the fire of the chariots all right the same day that the elect leave out of those those places the same day those places are going to be destroyed all right uh, even even thus shall it be in the days when the son of man is revealed all right when when Yahweh Shai comes back with that heavenly host which he he's anxious to do he's anxious to do you know us down here upon earth is anxious for Yahweh Shai to come back, uh, to put a to put an end to the to the wickedness that's that's um, that's uh, prescribed all throughout the earth. If we're anxious for it, how much how much more is our King? All right, how much more is he that that uh, uh, sacrificed himself for uh, uh, the good of us? You know, how much more is is our our leader, our Lord and Savior, man? How much more anxious is he, man? Okay. Especially when he was wronged uh, for doing nothing, okay? Um, so keep that in mind. You got to literally think of it as if Yahweh Shah is standing right outside the ozone uh, uh, waiting to, to uh, give the attack, man. All right? Uh, so that's the point that I wanted to get out of Luke 17. I'm going to read one more. Um, I'm going to go to one more chapter and then I'm going to wrap this up. This is uh, 2nd Ezra chapter 9. 
all right, which is a very good chapter, by the way. Now, I'm going to read verse 1. I'm going to read a, a good segment of this. It says, um, uh, 2 Ezra chapter 9, verse 1, He answered me, he answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world uh, which he made. And the Most High is going to visit the world uh, using Yahweh Shai and the heavenly host. Okay? So, uh, it says when, when some of those things that was written start coming to pass, that's when you should understand that it's that same time, that day of the Lord, man. And that's why it's not able to, to catch the men of the Lord as a thief. You know, that's why uh, uh, it's not able to catch us because we actually have the light. We can see through this dark time that we're in. Okay. Uh, therefore, verse three, therefore, uh, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. You can't tell me that 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 segment right there alone isn't true. All right. There's there's earthquakes going on all over the world everywhere. And the uproars of the people is going on all over in the world everywhere. All right. Uh, verse 4 those are that's actually literal you know the literal examples of this is actually going on okay uh, verse 4 then shall uh, thou well understand that the that the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee even from the beginning for like as all that is made in the world hath a beginning and an end and the end is manifest even so the times also of the highest uh have planned beginning so like you have plain beginnings in wonders and powerful works and endings and effects and signs all right the most high will, will start something uh wondrous and then end it all right something something like uh babylon you know you think babylon could have got started without the most high's uh without the most high giving an okay and then check out the way that it, babylon's going to be taken out man when I'm speaking about Babylon, I'm speaking about America. Uh, check out the way that it's going to be taken out, man. All right? It's just like with Pharaoh. It's written that the Most High raised Pharaoh and hardened his heart. He raised him up to a high degree and hardened his heart. That way he can show his power, man. And that's the exact same thing. It, you know, uh, there's times where an example has to be made. And uh, America is going to be a great example. The nation of Edom is going to be a great example. You know? They're going to be made a very great example. Endings and effects and signs. Okay? <laughs> uh, verse uh, verse 7, it says, um, And every one that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby he have believed, shall be preserved from the said perils. All right? So the, the, the men of the elect don't have to worry about this stuff, man. We don't have to be of a, of a great fearful heart. You know, I say we because uh, I'm including uh, the um, the hopeful elect, the buds that are really sincere and, and, and uh, faithful in this thing. All right. It says uh, they shall be they shall be preserved from the sad perils. All right. So if you're a member of the elect. You, you, you don't have to worry. All right. Of course, none of us know who is of the elect. And that's why we tremble with fear and serve the most high in fear, man. Because we don't know if his if his wrath is going to touch us. Because we're all worthy of the death. All right. It says, uh, and shall see my salvation in my land, and wherein my borders, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. The elect was chosen from the beginning. This is common knowledge for us. That's that's truly in this faith. All right. Uh, verse nine. It says, then shall <laughs> then shall they be in pitiful cates, which have uh which now have abused my word my way so like, um and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments and that's speaking about the two-thirds man two-thirds is going to catch some hell uh the wicked is going to catch some hell period all right all right it says for for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me and they that have uh loathed my law Salakia, so uh, while my throat's a little dry, so like, uh, while they had yet liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. Again, speaking about the two thirds, because the men of the Lord are out on the streets. These videos go up on YouTube daily. 
you know uh, 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 there's a constant f- uh, uh, flow of, of, of the truth going out uh, into the world at this moment, all right? But the people, they did what? They despised it, all right? The same must know must know it after death by pain, and we don't want to know it by death by pain. That's why we got to get with the program now. That's why we got to stay focused and keep our, keep our mind on the fact that uh, Yahweh Shai is coming back, man. And when he comes back, he's bringing two things. He's bringing vengeance, all right, which which uh, holds destruction in it. And he's also bringing uh, uh, true love, which holds salvation in it, man. All right. So uh, pretty much that was the lesson. I didn't really mean for it to go this long, uh, uh, but I just went with the spirit. So uh, once again, I want to go with... Um, uh, uh, all praises, glory, and honor unto the Most High Power, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone that do rule exceptionally well. Citations, peace, mercy, and blessings unto you faithful and sincere brothers that's out there, man, that push this word in truth. All right, Lord willing, you brothers uh, uh, was able to pull a little something from that. Until next time, I say Shalom.